Our YouTube server back course talk about some Crisis Cool Reunion, and today I just want to do kind of a quick follow-up to yesterday's video, kind of covering some more bits of info that we maybe didn't talk about yesterday, or kind of came out after I had recorded that video, because I did that video like super early in the day yesterday, like within like an hour or so of the trailer dropping, I started recording that video and just kind of scheduled it to upload later in the day. First up, we were revisiting the box art thing because when I went to look up this game on Amazon, they actually had what appears to be like the finalized box art. Obviously, we looked at the image yesterday, the key art that we knew was going to be part of the box art, but I guess this is kind of officially what it's going to look like when you like see it in stores and stuff. Speaking of looking up the game on Amazon, we obviously have the price since you can pre-order the game now. And it is $50, and this was probably public information yesterday. I just didn't see it on the feed and didn't think to look it up for that video. But this is something we actually seen a while back. I couldn't quite reference the video. It would be one of the Crisis Core Union videos we've done. We haven't done a whole lot of those. But I think it was Amazon, maybe. Some website had the game like pre-order for $50. And it's kind of surprising because we didn't know if it was going to be the usual $60 or maybe the full $70 if you're getting on next gen. But across the board, regardless of what platform you're getting it on, it's going to be $50. Whether you buy it on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series XS, Nintendo Switch, or PC, it is $50. So if you've got a next gen console, there's not really a reason to just not buy it on that platform. Also, speaking of the game coming to PC, I think this is kind of important. Uh, it's coming to PC via Steam, which is a kind of a big deal, I think, because of the backlash that we got for, like, Remake coming to PC first on Epic. People just didn't want to have another launcher, and there was obviously a bunch of issues initially when it came out on Epic. So I think it's kind of nice that it's coming to Steam, because it could have went that route again to try to keep it exclusive on Epic or something like that for money or whatever the case. Whatever the reason was, they did it for Remake, but at least it's coming to the platform that people prefer. And I like that you're not having to, like, overpay for the game if you're getting it for next-gen. So regardless of, like, what platform you're on, you're paying the same price. We also do have the PC requirements for Crisis Core Union, and I'll throw that up on screen right now. You can pause it if you want to look at this stuff. I don't know shit about this, so I don't know if this is, like, high-end shit or if you can have, like, a shitty-ass PC and play this game. I don't know. So previously, I did mention pre-order in the game, and there actually is a pre-order bonus. It's actually a pretty nice one, especially compared to Remake, which was just the Chocobo Chick, which is just kind of a nothing summon. But if you pre-order a copy of Crisis Core Union, you're going to get a Steelbook case, which I think is kind of a big deal, because I think generally, like, those are associated with, like, deluxe editions for games. So it's kind of nice that you can pre-order a physical copy of any version of the game, and you're going to get a Steelbook case. And the Steelbook case is pretty badass. It's like an old image. It's like an old, like, key art or something of Zack that I've seen throughout the years. Also, if you pre-order the game, you'll get the Soldier Materia set, which is just Dark Thunder, Dark Fire, and Dark Blizzard, which, if you guys haven't played Crisis Core, because I don't know if these materia ever pop up anything else, FF7... These are just your standard version of those spells, but they also add the ability to poison and silence the enemy. So they're essentially just better versions of those materials. Like, you would not use a fire materia if you have dark fire, right? Because that just has additional effects. And there is increased versions of these. There is dark fire, thundara, blizzara, and also the augas as well. So they're not like end-game materials. You'll use them probably through like early to mid-game and eventually stop using them. Also, kind of surprisingly, there is a deluxe edition for this game, but I don't know if there's a physical version of it yet, because I haven't seen that. I've seen digital deluxe, and I didn't even know about this until literally right now as recording, because I went to like, the Steam page to make sure that the game was also 50 bucks on PC, but also what the specs were. They had an option for a deluxe edition, which I hadn't seen anywhere except for Steam, but I've also seen it now on like, Xbox and stuff like that. But it just comes with like an art book and a soundtrack, and I don't know if that's worth 20 fucking dollars more, right? Especially considering this is a digital deluxe edition, right? You're buying the game digitally. These aren't physical items. I get it if you want to buy like a physical version, and it comes with like a physical soundtrack and a physical art, but that, that kind of makes sense, right? Those are items that you can actually tangibly hold and use. I also said this with Remake when I was telling people like what version of the game to get for Remake. Like there's no reason to really get the deluxe digital edition of that game either because it was also a digital art book and a digital soundtrack like why like you can get that shit for free online so it's kind of same thing here like if there's no other bonuses outside of just the soundtrack and the art book there's just no reason to buy the deluxe edition but again if there ends up being a physical deluxe edition that you can like buy and pre-order that has like a still book case the bonus material and like a physical soundtrack physical art book then yeah like more power to you if you want that shit that's worth 20 bucks to you go ahead and again, I don't want to harp on this too long, but like, since it's all digital, like, you can just get the soundtrack for free online and the art book as well. That should be out there as soon as the game comes out. But also, that soundtrack's probably going to hit Spotify not too long after the game comes out, where you can listen to it for fucking free as well. Also, as of right now, I'm not sure if there's like pre order exclusive items depending on where you buy the game from. Because, like, when it came to Remake, for example, depending on where you bought the game from or pre order the game from, you would get like exclusive items. Like GameStop, it would give you like a Shinra key card. If you bought the game from Walmart, pre-order the game from Walmart, it would give you like some like art cards or whatever inside the game case. And I want to say there's at least another store or two that also had items like this. I want to say like Target or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But regardless, I don't know if they're doing this yet with Crisis Core. That's why I'm kind of holding off. I'm not placing my pre-order just yet because I know some people pre-order the game like as soon as they could. I'm kind of waiting because I just want to see if there's going to be that, right? There's no reason to buy the game right now on any platform or from anywhere until we know if there's going to be like bonus items because like why would you not just get it free shit? 
But obviously, if that ends up being the case, if we end up seeing that from certain stores or whatever the case, I'll let you guys know in some sort of follow-up video. And last up for this video, there is indeed a collector's edition for Crisis Cool Reunion, but sadly, as of right now anyways, it is exclusive to Japan, which uh, which hurts a lot because it's pretty cool. But it is also quite pricey because you are getting a player that's Kai figure of Zack, which uh, I'm not even that much of a collector of like physical items of shit, but I kind of wouldn't mind this. And it's going to be 32,000 yen, roughly about $224 USD. But man, do you get quite a bit. So first up, of course, you're going to get the game, which isn't really a surprise there. But oddly enough, it's only exclusive to PlayStation or Switch. So either PS4, PS5, or just Switch. No Xbox, no PC. You're obviously going to get the player that's Kai figure of Zack, which is obviously going to be the majority of that $224. There is, in fact, a physical art book that comes with this and also a physical soundtrack. So there is a possibility that they could do a physical deluxe edition. I've just not seen that yet. It might already be out there. They might announce it in the future. But hopefully that is the case for you guys that want to collect this stuff. Also, with all this stuff, there's going to be a script book in there that the translated version of the website says, this is the recording script of this work that has been fully voiced. All main scenarios are posted, including newly recorded scenes and notes. 272 pages. Holy shit. Also, everything's going to be shipped inside this vanity box, which looks pretty damn cool. It's obviously supposed to mimic like a glass top to a box or whatever the case. It looks like it has letters in it. They did specify that the player arts Kai figure of Zack will be shipped in a separate box. So it's not going to be crammed in there alongside all those other items, which is good. Because that's obviously like the big money item. You don't want to like get fucked up or something. And last up for this collector's edition, and maybe the most interesting item, at least from like a you know kind of a lore perspective, uh, is Eris letter that they're going to put in there. The description reads, Eris Letter, a letter that didn't reach that person. A phantom letter that gives a glimpse of the memories of the two special writing. And what I'm not sure of is what exactly this letter is going to be. So I'll give you guys a bit of a spoiler warning here in case you haven't played Crisis Core because it's kind of spoilery. But in the game, after Zack and Aerith meet, she starts sending Zack letters throughout the game. And then after Zack and Cloud are captured by Hojo and experimented on in the Sinner Manor, she continues to send Zack letters for years. Because they're experimenting on for like, what, like three or four years or some shit? And once Cloud and Zack escape, he receives the final letter, which is the 89th letter from Aerith. And that's when he realizes how long he's been gone. It's been several years at this point. So I don't know if this letter is going to be like that final letter, because it's kind of what it seems to be insinuating. That'd be kind of cool to have like a physical version of that, I suppose. But also part of me would like to be like one of the letters we never got to see. How are you? I wish I knew where you were. It's already been four years now. This is the 89th letter that I've sent to you. I was going to play that full scene, but I figured I'd save it for those of you that have never seen it, but also for those of you that maybe haven't seen it in a long time. We're waiting for the yeah, actual Crisis Core reunion to come out. But again, I'm not sure what that letter, what it's supposed to be, because they describe it as a letter that didn't reach that person, but the 89th letter did. Now, in Aerith's perspective, there's a lot of letters, as far as she knows, that Zack's never read, but he did get that final one, so I'm not sure if it's going to be that, or maybe a different letter that we've never seen from Aerith, and that's a little more exciting, in my opinion. But my dudes, that's going to be pretty much the video. It's kind of the takeaways from this, the TLDR. You can pre-order the game. There's a still bookcase. There's bonus material. The game is $50 across all platforms. There is a digital deluxe edition. Potentially, there's going to be a physical one as well. So there is physical versions of that art book and that soundtrack. There's also this really insanely cool collector's edition that's exclusive to Japan. But I imagine the reason for that is because of the Player Arts Kai figure. Because those like sell out instantly pretty much every time those go live anyways when there's a new one. So it's probably why they're keeping it like region locked to Japan. But they could maybe do like a different version. Like you could do the same exact collector's edition get rid of the player Sky figure, reduce the price by a lot, and I think it'd still probably sell insanely. Like, I'd probably buy it depending on what the price is. We still have several months the game comes out, so who knows what other versions and editions and collector's editions and all the other shit that there might be in the upcoming months. So that's why we just kind of wait and see what exactly happens before I'm going to place my pre-order. But my dudes, that's going to be the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to if you guys are new today. More Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion content. Turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, at I'm a Discord, links for the are in the description. Into the outro. Later, guys. Four years? Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that like old train. We in here like low game or leave it like old bang.